Well, the traffic on all these events has been phenomenal. Uh, you know, with the, uh, the March tsunami event, we normally went, do about 150 million streams a month. We popped 250 million streams a month, and we set an all-time one-day record of 40 million streams. And that was double our prior mark, which was the Michael Jackson uh, funeral or, uh, death. So uh, the demand is, is just amazing for the Right News event. And so after March and April, we had the Royal Wedding, and that popped the numbers again. And then no sooner was that over than we have the news uh, about Osama bin Laden's uh, death, and that, uh, that shot the, the numbers up tremendously as well. Sunday night was a, a very interesting night for online video viewing because the announcement that Osama bin Laden had been killed came out around 11.30 p.m. Eastern. And no sooner did the news come out than we had almost 300,000 simultaneous streams uh, on our sites. And this is while people are almost entirely at home with TVs available to them. And so part of what we think is that people are multitasking and they are trying to follow the story on, on multiple platforms. In the case of the Bin Laden story, part of that reason may have been that if you came into the broadcast, you may not have got, got, caught the first part of the story. So people can go to the web, read in, if you will, or watch in to catch up on all the facts of the story and then follow along on broadcast or broadcast and and uh, PC. A lot of those streams, even on the night of Bin Laden, were, were on-demand streams. Some were live, some were not. But uh, in the case of Tsunami, people were just re-watching a lot of this phenomenal uh, footage. So uh, most, of the, and most of the Tsunami coverage wasn't live. I mean, there were some. So live is great, and, but on-demand is, is huge, too, around these events.